Yo, hey, what's up, y'all, man? Welcome y'all back to another video. It's your boy Hustle, it's your boy 98 CEO, aka the answer. And I'm back with another video. It's that time. It is that time. It's that time of the month. It's that time of the year. It's that time in the series. In the series. So we got the draft this week is Monday. So we got the draft this week on Thursday. I'm gonna drop two more videos. Mock draft for the Falcons before um. Like I said before the official draft this Thursday, so I'm gonna drop one tomorrow and then one Thursday morning. Um, so this one I did it on a different one this time. So I did it on um, normally I do it on PFF Pro Football uh, Network or PFN. This time I'm gonna do it on the Draft Network, just to give it kind of a different little look of what we may be looking at when we come to the draft. So it's gonna have you know rank, players rated differently and stuff like that. So we're just gonna see what we work out with. Like I said, we'll get straight into that. Uh, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. We're gonna get right into that. Of course, we pick Falcons um, with this one. Uh, manual seven rounds. I'm putting on fast, man. I ain't trying to do that slow jump. We're going too slow. And we're gonna get straight into it. Dang, they got Trayvon Walker, number one player. That's, see, that's why I like these different ones because like, Trayvon Walker being number one, that's kind of confusing me. I ain't know that. <coughs> no cap, looking at what we got going. I top I'm going to sting me. And then what, what I like about them too, bro, they give you like, they really give you like a deep evaluation of folks. Like, ideal roles, scheme fits. They even sometimes tell you the team, the best uh, fitting team that that player is. So they kind of get like more in depth with it. That's what I found like about theirs. And they even do um, prospect comparison. So they compare Stingley to uh, Gilmore. I don't know what kind of what is comparison is. Kyle Hamilton, Derwin James. I want my have no Derwin James type player, but mm. okay. Based on that, no okay, I'm going to sneak. I'll take that step on you. I say that a lot now. Kyle Hamilton wouldn't have been bad just because I like the fact they said Derwin James. That's like, oh yeah, I could do something with a Derwin James type safety, but nah, I'd rather. I rather take that, that lockdown corner, bro. We got um, Case Hayward right now, but Case Hayward, you know, he's he, he a bridge player. All right, boom, so bad. Um, no surgery. All right, but Perion probably looking like the guy. I ain't gonna let's see. Get some depth on the defense line. Darnell Dockey. Y'all remember my boy Darnell Dockey? That boy was a dog back in the day with Arizona. So, see, between him, what quite walked on, man? Mmm, can't murder. Mmm, that's not bad, but not for the second pick and second round, that's not good either. I just do try to do them to my Dr. Hankins. Dr. Hankins went bad, but mmm, not for that second round pick either. I don't care, that boy Tyree Wooden, bro. I want to see what his comparison is, because that boy ran 4 2, bro. I don't know who Isaiah Johnson is, so that boy, nah. All right, bro, so just looking at it, we're picking it down. I ain't got nobody compared to pickings. All right, so based on what we're looking at, bro. Oh, Matt Corral, man. I might take Matt. Okay. All right, but no, based on this, I'm going on Perrion. I'm going Perrion. You tell me somebody finna come in like Darnell Dockett, I'll take you. Especially as much as we need on that defensive line. I'll go for it. Man, I want to meet you. Meet you on the outside would be dangerous. No cap. Okay. No cap. Who else? Like I ain't got to nobody here. Okay. That boy meet you. I want that boy bad. Um, so we can still get Quay Walker. But I'm pretty solid with this comparison there. I ain't got no comparison either. Christian Harris. Here's comparison. To be determined. The rest of the week of the drive, bro. Y'all can't be too the deep. He's determining nothing. I don't care. I'm finna say, um, I'd say between Quay Walker and Matt, but I'm taking boy career. I'm gonna take the quarterback, bro. Just because I feel like, in most of my drafts, I ain't even took no quarterback. And the fact I ain't getting him in the third round, I like that. I mean, why is that Spiller? Cause I do like that boy Spiller, bro. I like that boy at, when I seen him at um, Texas a and Joe Mason, that's not bad. I said Spiller might be on the way. But let me let me Leo right quick. Cause we need some downhill linebacker. Brian Cushion, I'm taking that. No cap. 6'3, 250. Brian Cushion, tight. I don't even know. Okay, I like that. Um, make sure we see something real quick. 
Red Okafor. I actually heard that Okafor dude was straight. I'm about to get mine back. Man, we're six foot, 226. Mm. I'm back now. We used to come down here. Um, oh, still running back. That's it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, we finna get us a running back, though. King Drake, I don't like that. That's his comparison. But James Cook. But James Cook comparison, Dalvin, I'm finna get him right now. No cap. Felix, oh my god. Okay, I want that button next week. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take him. But Felix Jones, but that boy Felix Jones is fire. No cap. Alright, bet. So we're gonna be Ocean now. We ain't even got no edge. Yikes. I on the drive kind of getting out of hand. Already. I'm not gonna write this on out, but I kinda like what we got, what we what we building. Um Right now we gotta we gotta get one of these predictions though. For real, we're not getting no tight end. Um Oh my god, there you go. Greg Jackson's still there and that boy is getting picked up. Marcus Golden, I'll take him. That boy Drake Jackson getting picked up right there. Hold on, we're not next pick, bro. We got eighty two. I want that boy James Cook though, I ain't gonna lie to him. They said Felix Jones. But what what age we still got left, bro? Okay. Nah, I know that what I'm gonna do. Give me that boy. Hey, give me that boy, uh, James Cook. Nah, I can't. Give me my boy Drake. Give me that boy Drake Jackson. But we gotta address that edge, bro. The edge went right after that. I said we gotta address that edge. The only thing with this one you can't trade up. So we really just gonna have to sit here and wait on this one. I ain't gonna count. I want that boy, uh, James Cook though. I want that boy James Cook though. Bro, the Jets be so corn, bro. Like, they not finna do nothing with James Cook, but just have him on the team. <laughs> but it's straight. I take that boy Zamir. What's Zamir? Oh, uh, people. Oh, look at that. got one. I might take that boy Zamir for real, though. Jack the card looking like 22. Cool, we gotta be at this line, bro. Kane okay, Holmes. Don't know what that is. But I'll read Mmm. But we did. We already got deep time. We got what's name. The boy body. Yeah. Bro, that feel the Jones don't really hype me up. No, okay, I wanted that bit bad. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, they might have messed up the game. But if I get for Darian, hey, Sean Robinson, give me that boy for Darian. I ain't okay. We build another. We build another line. Oh, Brian Robinson, don't be hold on, bro. Brian Robinson, they say he let the league miss out. You got one straight. Give me that boy for Darian. We're building up the defense line right now. We got two. I ain't okay. The one thing we have not gotten is a receiver. So we probably need to go ahead and let's look at that next. Between that and a running back. But Ron Robinson there, I'm taking him. Uh, I was going to say, I better go get it, boy. To my boy Thorn, too. Corn. What about boy Damian Pierce? What are you looking like? Who is it? Who is it? Tashar Choice. I ain't okay. That boy's going to get picked up. Tashar Choi, but that boy, first of all, Tashar Choi went to my high school. So I already know about the boy Tashar, and that boy had a little straight little career in the league. <laughs> Nothing too much. I mean, she, he made it, though. And I thought it was make it. So we can look between him and receivers. Um, Justin Ross. Justin Ross, they really said that boy not in that. Marvin Jones, but he Marvin Jones, so I'll take him. Because why not? But what did my boy Romeo do? My boy Romeo. Cause Romeo be going a lot higher in that jump. Alright, so Romeo, what about Eric? Because this one, I just based off potential, like, shoot, who, who, who you say they, who they say you can be like, bro? Alright. Mm. Tom Hawkins, I don't think he got one, though. Yeah, so we finna take, um, we finna take Justin uh, Ross, it's my cousin. Take my one in the fifth. And okay, we got a little straight little drive, we built that defense up. Got got a corner, a quarterback, two tackles, an edge, and a linebacker. I ain't gonna kind of like this draft a little bit. Can we address a, a couple of places? Like, uh, if I get into it, we'll get there. I ain't even gonna. We can double up right here on another receiver. Damn, bum, I got that my sister. Really did. Um, then another. I thought it was from A. I thought it better actually straight. Yeah. <coughs> mm. Peterson, we got Jacob Myers. The boy Torrey might be on the way. She's going 91. Mm. 
see this one. Urban. Go back, look at running back right quick. Sincere. What oh, sincere? Song. I think it's our last pick anyway. Jeff Wilson. So no cap, but recently these receivers that be coming in, I mean running back, they get undrafted and coming in ready. Because you always take it, boy. It's all his first sentence. That's how she's a big piece of the movie. Yeah, I'm going to boy, Terry. He's the best receiver option we got right now in the draft, so we're going to take him. That's our last pick. And I like I got one more. 200 something. Other running back in the room with um, Cordero. Shit, Damian Williams. Mike Davis probably won't make it to the room. And um, Austin probably won't make it to the room either. I'm just names at this point. So looking at this, still going over what we did. So we use the picks. So we got Stingley first pick. I like that pick. Stingley, I like the pick because. So you wouldn't have to. He had. He wouldn't have to necessarily come in and start, cause you got. Cause you got Hayward, and he can learn a lot from Hayward. Then year. Now I'm not saying he's not playing. Now that's that's different. But year two is like, bro, it's gonna be you and AJ on the outsides. <laughs> cause Casey, and then you might can work him in that slot at the beginning of the year. I kind of like that actually, cause Oliver coming off the ACL. So you really don't want to. I mean, he he tore his ACL early in the season, but you don't have to just force him back out there. And then you have two still corners. I like that idea of that. Then came right back, right at the defense line. Perry on Winfrey. They said Darnell Dock Darnell Dock is all I need to see. I like that. Came back, got a quarterback, Matt Corral. I mean I mean we got we got some finally got some person in there. Mariota's the bridge. Mariota maybe could start, but he's the bridge right now. Gotta bring somebody in, gotta bring some competition. Went linebacker, I like the boy Leo Chanel. We need to change the identity of the Falcons, but we're too small. We are running chase linebackers. I need down here. Six three, two fifty, I like that. Then we came back and got Drake Jackson. Great pick right there. Got to address that edge in some way, but more than the edge is more so the inside. We're just small on the inside, which is why I came right back. Came back with Federian. <laughs> got to build up them trenches. So, Perignon, Federian, uh, Marlon Davidson, great if he's still here. Um, I like the way Tech on ground last year. Cooper uh, Rush, I think his name. He may or might not be Coop. Oh, Anthony Rush. I knew that name was Rush, though. But he's straight. But you got a lot of things to work with. My boy DP came back, received Justin Ross. Came back, uh, Samori Torrey. Don't know who that is, but hey, came back with double receivers. This is my, this is what I like about this draft. We didn't go force receivers in the early round because I don't feel like you're getting just great receivers that early. So I just will hope they do not take no receiver at eight, but that's going to kind of blow me because we got the eighth pick and then we out to draft that early with a receiver. I'd be very upset with that one. Like to see. Then came back, got Jerry on Illy. Can't be mad at a running back. I did want James Cook. Just because, bro, that Felix Jones really hyped me up. I thought that boy could come in on some a Dalvin jump, but just because they said Philly Jones, and I remember that boy Philly Jones, how explosive he was, I want that boy, no cap. But I had to change that, I had to get, um, I had to take an edge right there. Because we hadn't uh, applied, we hadn't addressed that position. So Drake Jackson there, I had to grab that. So yeah, this drive, I kind of like what we said. Like I said, got an edge, built the trenches up three, uh, uh, two defense tackles. A edge, a linebacker, two receivers, and a running back, and a quarterback. That's a you know a pretty solid draft. I, I like that we like I said didn't force it, force it at receiver. Um, early in the draft, kind of just let it play out. We ended up with a quarterback that you know we got it. Our, shoot, at fifty eight with our second second round pick, got a good defense alignment, got a good uh, potential All Pro at corner. That boy said that boy said uh, Stephon Gilmore. I take him. Got a potential linebacker, kind of a downhill linebacker, edge. 
another defensive lineman. Because for there, one thing about them, Alabama defensive linemen, defense tackles in particular, they come in the, the league and they, they play. So able to get him at 114, another great value pick. Like I said, these two receivers. And run back over, I'll get it a bit like a seven. It's really going to depend on Perion at your defensive tackle. I mean, defensive line. Drake Jackson, because he'll probably come in and start. Leo, because he'll probably come in and start. It's really the mid draft. It's really the people in the mid. Like, Stingley. Stingley, you just want him to get healthy, so you're not really trying to force him to play this year. You don't want him to play, of course, but I'm saying you want him to be healthy when he comes out there to play. You're not just going to. Oh, you you the number two outside with AJ. Not necessarily. Perrion got to come in and be a, a quality starter. Matt Corral got to come in and compete for that job with uh, Mariota. And if Mariota beat him out, Matt Corral got to be good enough to be able to step in at that that next point. Leo Chanel, he got to come in as a starter. And I like Lawson Lewis, kind of, he got to come in and, and win that job in, in, in camp. Drake Jackson got to be a quality starter. No way we can go out there. Lorenzo Carter and um, Okendeji can't go. Drake Jackson got to come in and start. So the draft really, to me, is in that, at that Perrion Winfrey, Leo Chanel, Drake Jackson, for Darren, got to be a quality depth player, or he got to come start. And one of these receivers. <laughs> At Darren Ely, you don't really need much for him. You got a couple running backs. You would like him to come in and kind of take some. At that one, I'm going to show you something, but it's not necessary. So, but that Perrion, um, Matt Carr got to compete. Leo got to come in and start. Drake Jackson got to be a quality player. For Darren, got to be a quality player. Really, Leo got to be a starter. Drake got to be a starter. For Darren, got to come and be a quality. Um, Rotational player. Perry, I gotta be a quality starter. And then one of these receivers gotta be a quality starter. And probably it'll be Torrey over Justin Ross if I did say, if I did have to say so. So y'all get to draft like seven. It'll be dependent kind of on, like I said, that middle of the draft, folks. If Matt Brown come in and start in week seven, that's a great draft. That's probably a nine. Because Stingley's gonna do what Stingley do. I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel like that. And Perry, they just said, darn dog. That's all I need to know. <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna drop one more. I'm gonna drop this one tomorrow. Um, on Tuesday, I'm gonna drop one more on Thursday morning before the draft, and I'll probably get with y'all Friday. To, <laughs> and we're gonna talk about what we did. That, well, no, nah, I might get with y'all Saturday because the first and second round, day one and day two is gonna be really important. Day three is gonna be, I'm not gonna be as tuned in to day three, but we got four picks in day. We probably got five because we no, it's the third and fourth, second, third, and fourth for the day two. So we got what, um, five picks? One, two, three, four. I think we got five picks on day three, so probably that's that's gonna be Friday. So probably Saturday I'll get with y'all, see kind of direction the team we can kind of talk to y'all a little bit. But like I said, that'd be it for this video. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell me which one you like better. If y'all like this uh, pro football, um, the draft network one better or that uh, pro football network, and I'm gonna decide which one I'm gonna do for the last one. That was gonna come out on Thursday. But like I said, that'd be it for this video. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.